But what's, I think, so unique about the outcome of a sheep hunt, if you, if you are prepared and you're understanding you're going to suffer, but what happens on the back end of that is, can be life-changing. What really sucks is to give up before you get to experience what's on the other side of the end of a sheep hunt. And, you know, Brent and I have gone on a couple hunts that have just been incredibly hard, incredibly difficult. In fact, we're going back up to Bonnet Plume, a hunt that we did two years ago, and the guy that guided us won't guide us again this year because of how hard the hunt was, <laughs> which I don't think we've ever broken a guide. We've broken video and and camera, camera guys. Um, but those are the hunts we remember. I mean, I think about my two greatest sheep hunts. It's Bonnet, well, there's three. Bonnet Plume and two stone sheep hunts I went on. They were the hardest hunts, the most miserable hunts, the worst weather, the worst conditions. And those are the ones I think about. We went to Nahani Butte. It was a helicopter hunt. We were both done in two or three days. We killed beautiful rams. Great experience, amazing country. I don't think about it that much. But the only way you get to have that kind of experience and to realize that satisfaction, I think we've all been there, what that brings you through a lot of hard work it can be absolutely amazing. It can be magical. But it's making sure what we want to do is make sure you guys are as mentally, physically, and have the right gear um, for that hunt. 